How's it going folks and welcome back for some more FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Road to Glory, no money spent. Back again with another squad build here, this one under 90k. Uh, interesting one, as it packs a punch up front and very solid defensively. Also very upgradable guys in certain positions, but this is the one that's under 90k. So let's get right into it without further ado you're going to be using a 4-3-2-1 guys to set it up in goal I've got Galashi excellent cheap goalkeeper good diving reflexes are good as well Possessions, positioning is good also and he's not bad kicking as well Use this guy several times in game and to be honest I haven't noticed much difference with using him or using a more expensive goalkeeper. For the price guys this card is excellent. Okay centre back. This card, everybody must own this card, Klosterman. Got a shadow on him guys, uh, 84 pace, that gets boosted. As I say guys, you must have heard of this card by now. Pace is insane, sprint speed is crazy. Passing's not too good, he is just a stopper. Uh, but that defending is going to get uh, a lot of stops and uh, make the defence very solid. Physical also isn't that good guys, but uh, to be honest I haven't noticed. Next to him, Delict. You're going to need a shadow card, sorry a shadow chem style on this card. You're going to need to boost his pace. With a shadow he's going to boost his pace, his sprint speed to well over 80. Uh, physical's excellent on this card, even though he's not the quickest. Uh, the physical and the defending stats seem to make up for that. Used him several times. To be honest, I've had some mixed res results, but uh, he's not too bad for the cut for the price, and he fits into this team brilliantly. At left back, Ruzilon. Again. Put a shadow on him on this card. Boosts the, pe the sprint speed up to well over 90. Just look at that. Sprint speed is well, is well over 90, 97. Passing, not too good. His crossing's excellent though, so he can bang a cross in. Dribbling's good as well. Defending is excellent with the shadow card on there. Uh, physical's not too good, but uh, he'll get the job done down the wing, guys. At right back, gone with Quadrado. Again, put a shadow on this card. Pace gets well over 90. Passing is good. Crossing is excellent. Dribbling is really, really good. He'll get down the wing, just like any left winger would uh, even though he is a full back defending's not too good this will need boosting with the shadow and physical's not too good either but uh, all in all folks this is a, a decent card and for the price you can't go wrong getting into the midfield now you're gonna have to do a position change with this card folks if you can't get Dybala at centre mid you're gonna have to change him to a centre mid to get the chemistry because at the moment as you can see he's on two but that will be boosted if you uh, change his position that's the same also folks with uh, Kayahon and Douglas Costa there are a few position changes that you'll have to make with this uh, with this build if you can't get the exact position from the transfer market so just bear that one in mind Anyway, Dybala, obviously not going to be using him as a CM, going to be using him more as a uh, centre forward or as a cam. Again, what I would do with this card, folks, is put a hunter on there. Pace is excellent, sprint speed 
is going to be well over into the 90s with a hunter on there and uh, the finishing will be high as well one thing with this card folks if you use him as a centre forward his passing is really good so his link up play with the other centre forward won't be an issue one thing I have found with this game this year is when you use a centre forward that doesn't have good passing he struggles to link up with the other centre forward you're not going to get that problem with this card folks as his passing is excellent dribbling's great as well physical not too good but he'll get the job done and I believe the card is really cheap now next to him at centre mid you've got Kimmich again guys what I would do with this one is pop the shadow on there that's going to boost his pace his passing is excellent, dribbling is good as well, and the defending is amazing. This card is excellent at CDM rather than at uh, full back like it used to be. Physical is good as well, look at that aggression, 89, he's going to get the job done. And his partner in midfield, Emre Chan. So if you go with a 4 4 2. You've got this guy in midfield who can get forward and be a bit more creative while Kimmich sits back. Again folks, what I would do with this card is maybe put the shadow on him as well. You can either go with the shadow or maybe the, uh, the anchor. But uh, passing's excellent, dribbling is good as well, defending's good also. Physical is excellent, aggression 88, so you've got a good uh, solid midfield here. And as I say, you can boost his pace with a shadow card. Sh sorry, a shadow chem style. Let's get to the front line now, folks. Uh, at left forward, again, you're going to need to do a position change with this one. Changing from LM to LW and then to left forward. Douglas Costa. I'd go with the Hunter with this one. That's going to boost his pace and his finishing. His finishing's not great, and that's why I would pop a Hunter on there. Passing's reasonable. It seems to do a lot better than the 79. Short pass is excellent. I wouldn't have him making a long pass. His crossing's not too bad. Uh, but the thing with this card, folks, is the dribbling. He's able to... Uh, Massacre most defensive with, with his dribbling. Next to him, and as I say, this guy's going to be Dybala's uh, partner up front because we're going to go with a 4 4 2. It's Mertens. Again, folks, maybe put a hunter on there or a finisher. Pace, that's going to be boosted to well over 90 with a hunter on there. Finishing's excellent without any card on without any chem style and also the passing's good with this card as well So his link up play with Debal is going to be excellent Dribbling's good as well physical's not too good, but uh, You won't get a problem with this card guys. He's going to cause absolute havoc to opponents defenses and next to him, again, you're going to need to do a positional change. Go RM to RW and then RF. Uh, Jose Callejon. Very underrated card, folks, in my opinion. With a hunter on there, his sprint speed's going to get up to well over 90. Uh, finishing's going to go up to over 80 as well. Passing's not too good with this card, but he can put a cross in. Dribbling's okay. It's not nothing too special he's very agile so he's good on the ball but again guys with this uh, with the price you can't go wrong now how's this going to look in, in game guys ok folks you can go with the 4-4-2 have one of the centre mid sitting back and the other one may be a bit more advanced uh, keep the wingers forward or you can have them coming back. This is the formation I would recommend 
for these players because you've got a really solid centre mid there and as I say uh, Dybala and uh, Mertens can link up really well and to be honest these wingers are more wingers rather than forwards as their finishing isn't that good but uh, they can bomb down the wing as an alternative guys in game you could go with the 4-2-4 uh, maybe go with uh, this would be very offensive look to use these as a as a maybe a rotating front line uh, you'd need to have these two sitting back though whilst these got forward because this would be a very offensive formation another suggestion guys you could go with the 4-2-3-1 the two wide men there Kayahon and uh, Costa use Dybala a little bit further back and Mertens up front set the two centre mids as CDMs and sit them back it's entirely up to yourselves guys this is a very 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 versatile squad build and it fits a lot of formations as I say it's coming in at around 85k at the moment so if you're looking for a cheap build you won't go far wrong with this it's very upgradable for example what you could do is change the goalkeeper for Neuer or maybe at the other CDM position you could go with Goretzka. He would link up very well with uh, Kimmich as well. But there you go guys. That's it for this video then. If you're enjoying the videos guys drop a like down below. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll be back a bit later with some more FIFA action. Some more squad builds. And some more SB solutions, SBC solutions. Until next time guys, take care and I'll catch you later.